Hello everybody, what's up y'all? Welcome, welcome. How y'all doing? Welcome sister and thank you very much for the uh, for the 24 month, the two year resub. You're getting those fancy double feathers. You love to see it, thank you very much sister. Um, welcome Karma, Scobie, Sussy, welcome Sai, Taylor, Beastie, Ray. Ray Boops who will be joining me this Saturday. At 7 p.m. BST for a Heaven of It. We're going to be talking about some horror games, no doubt, and uh, watching some some video game trailers together. Welcome to Seaweed as well. Welcome, of course, anyone who might be lurking or who might join us along the way. It is me, thy PV speaking. The music we just listened to was. Uh, we had two tracks from Command and Conquer. 
We had Rin and the Knight from the original Command and Conquer OST. That was a request from uh, I'm a Coconut. And then we had Hell March from uh, Red Alert, which is a bit of a bit of a classic track. And I also decided to play the uh, the My War 8-bit remix by Musikage. As M U S I K A G E, in case anyone wants to find that. There's a whole bunch of uh, 8 bit remixes for anime openings. But I thought that one is a, a particular banger. What's up, Valkers? Squareo, please. What? what you, oh, I see. <laughs> I see what you've done there. Is the scissors. I see everyone is continuing with the cocktar. I see this is just gonna keep happening. This is the life that I'm living now. But uh, yeah, we have a whole bunch of streams lined up this week, of course. Uh, some new games. Well, no, no, some new games. We got like two nights of new games. But tonight it's gonna be cocktar. Uh, tomorrow morning we're gonna be playing our first new game of the week. We're gonna be playing Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem. One of my top three uh, horror games of all time, and just I think it's one of my favorite games. Like if I, if I had to pick a top ten, Eternal Darkness would probably be in there. So that'd be real fun. Wednesday night, it's back to the third birthday, and I I still don't really know what to think of that game. So that'd be fun. Thursday morning, we are back to the fantastic Sweet Home, which I cannot wait to uh, get back to. We'll probably complete Sweet Home. I don't think it's a very long game overall. Um, then on Friday night. We're going to be having our Spooktober Spectacular Spookathon, sponsored by Mega Babes, who selected a bunch of games for me to play through. It should be good fun. Uh, Saturday, like I said, having a hoop with Ray Boop. And then on Sunday, we have our double whammy stream. We have Eternal Darkness, Sunday's Requiem in the morning, and Castlevania Lords of Shadow in the evening. Which, uh, if you don't find anything else spooky, I haven't seen that game again, we'll probably do it. But we're, we're likely to complete Clock Tower tonight, Sweet Home on Thursday, and Lords of Shadow on Sunday. So uh, we're making the room for even more spooky games next week. Please look forward to it. So welcome, Valkers. Welcome, the crates. No, uh, no hat changes today, unfortunately. I've once again lied with my promises of many hats. Or it is I, Scissor PB. And of course we gotta watch the open into this again. Mr. Cocktar? No. Lock Ala. I don't know why it tickles me so much that the narrator is Australian, but it does. Mr. Cockatiel, I look, I'm not the cockatiel here. Please wait until Saturday for more information. Now the opening flashes back to Dan Barrows, the big baby, as you see there. But I figure he's got to play into it somehow. Also, I genuinely love this opening so much. Sounds crazy, but it looks like they were killed with a giant pair of scissors. Have y'all seen anyone with a giant pair of scissors lately? Once again, search for prey. A trail of terror stretches across Europe, from Norway to England. It's scissoring time. Is that our motto now here? Continue. 
people make it through this game of murder alive? Clock Tower. <laughs> so he says that. Clock Tower. Hey, Weebu. Sergeant. Welcome, y'all. So, I've had you three hints in this game so far, and it's all been in this one section as well. But I figured out, quote unquote, figured out the thing I was missing. The reason that we got ending D. Although ending D wasn't too bad, you know, it revealed a twist that we had known the whole time. Can't wait to talk about cocktail. No! No! Uh, okay. Right, so I have the genealogy thing. So we know about. Yeah, we're having a boop. Oh, it's a good name for it. We're having a boop this uh this Saturday. So we're in the Barrows Mansion trying to find the mystery behind the immortal scissor man, aka Bobby Barrows, who seems to be back and doing some killing. We find out there is one member of the family who is uh, marked as a traitor to the family. This man, Quentin Barrows. He's the 13th generation. And notice talk to the backside of the portrait. Hard to read, but it says, Danger is near. I've hidden the map in the library. I hope people in a later time may discover the door. And expel the devil children from this world. Minton Barrows. Make it an official podcast. I was thinking, largely inspired by uh, a Min Max video I was watching today. Um, also, hello, Pimmy. Hello, Jimmy. It's the Emmy gang. Uh, whenever we start doing our... We're going to do a fantasy league for video game reviews. I forget what you call it. Fantasy critic. We're going to do a fantasy critic league uh, at the start of next year. And y'all are... I don't know how many spaces are in a league, but whoever wants to take part in it is very welcome to. Essentially... What you do is that you pick out games from throughout the year and uh, whatever games get the highest reviews, the higher the review score, the more points you get for a game. And if it goes below a certain threshold, you start losing points. And also you can uh, you can counter pick games. So games that do badly that are on someone else's list, you can get points if those uh, games have low scores. And I was thinking it might be fun to every month or so have one of our hoots dedicated to talking about uh, the fantasy critic league results as they come out a bit of a sports desk recap you might call it and also if, if it is if people are interested kind of want to do the uh, the draft for the games live so I'd probably I'd set a schedule for a stream for some day that we can all be here as we uh as we pick out the video games. Because the draft needs to be done live. No matter what. Uh, that, that's the one thing. Everyone has to be there while it's happening. What the fuck am I talking about? Stargen I literally just said it. A fantasy. Video game league. Go Giants. Hopefully the Giants won. Gustin. No, Stars, when you're here, you talk to me. No other homies. Only this homie. So, 
We got the hint to look in the fireplace and we needed that to light, to place the candle and to light it. Despite the fact that I wanted to do this beforehand, it doesn't let you do that until you find that note. Find a map that shows us the way out. And if we try to escape, as we are, like we did last time, well, you know what, I'll just run on who missed it, I'll show what happens. Make sure I save it this time. Hey, hey Francis, redeems to scare me? No. Too lazy to set that up. <laughs> Truly. But yeah, to briefly explain it again, Fantasy Critic is like a fantasy league, but instead of, you know, sports teams, you choose games that have yet to release. And uh, depending on how well the game scores you get points so obviously the people who pick the games that review the highest are going to uh, have the most points and win and you can also counter pick it so that if you pick someone else's game and it scores low you get points as well while they lose points um yeah it is quite fun it is it is good fun Is that a door in the bottom? Never mind the dude just swing in there. Might be the valve to drain the fountain. A back door to a bottom. Oh V. Oh you. But yeah, if people are interested, I think it could be fun to start one for the start of next year. And like I said, I'd, I'd have uh, someone on at least a month so we can discuss the happenings of the Fantasy Critic League. Jennifer, I found a way out. Where? Which would really just be a, a talk about, you know, games as they come out and their review scores and so on. With the added bit here. of who, uh, who wins from really? it. Well, I don't know, like, there, there should be a prize, but I don't know what the prize would be. Oh, shit. Fell. There's your answer, Scobie. A free game? Valka will buy you a free game. Yeah, yeah, a whole bunch of people are dead. Uh, I don't know if Kay's dead. Kay was Edward's sort of keeper. Um, Edward, we now know, is clearly an evil little fella. <laughs> Squareo. Man, people don't know what... what. Chainsaw Man's gonna be good. Look forward to it. Um, but yeah, that, that was an ending. If you try to escape the castle without really figuring out anything of what's going on, you get bopped. But yeah, Kay's alive. Uh, I think pretty much everyone from the university is dead. The professor's dead, obviously. Can't go there. Oh, V Scario, I experienced Jujutsu Kaisen Zero for the first time. 
uh, yesterday. Not yesterday. Like Saturday? Saturday night? No, no, sorry, it would have been Thursday night. Saturday night, we watched, um, well, Chainsaw Man and the first two episodes of season three of Mob Psycho. So, the one thing that I have missed in here. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck you, buddy. I think if we go just back in there, he's not there anymore. If you deactivate as he is, you can just go right back to where he was. Yeah. A rope. I wonder why the rope and candle are together. Hmm. Oh, good. I thought the rope was to be used here. Who's doing the... Oh, there we go. I just need to press it again. So you would use the rope to tie the door closed. Then you can open the chest without worrying about a bunch of bats. It's locked. Helen! Are you alright? Oh, Jennifer. She's very calm about it. <laughs> ah, that's out of her. Ah. Are you all right? Yes, but my head hurts a little. Is there a way out of here? I don't know. But I do know one thing. If we don't kill Scissorman, He'll kill us whether we get out of here or not. Uh-huh. Jennifer, there must be a way to destroy him in this mansion. And I must find it. Is there a way out of here? Oh no, is it is he just gonna know. repeat things? But I do know one thing. If we don't kill Scissorman, he'll kill us whether we get out of here or not. Yeah, Scissorman, he, he's always having a good time. Whenever you like first find him in the original clock tower, when he like first pops in the scene, he just like does a little Jennifer, hop in place. There must be a way snip to his snappers. In this mansion, and I must find it. Yeah, we found a foreign note and it said maybe someone from the university could help us translate it. Uh, and since the professor is just hanging out at the moment. Oh, Helen, look what I found. Can you read it? It's in Latin. Words to open door. Words to open door? I think that's what it says. Look here. These words down here must be the spell. It says, Mha Ish. 
It sounds like a magic spell. Maybe this is the key to kill Scissor Man. Bye, Elm. What if our dude's just still hanging out here by the bones? Oh, there he is. Can't talk to him. I don't believe Scissorman does have a big dumpy. But I do. So, yes. Uh, no, he's not dead. He just doesn't want to talk to us. Hey, Yuho, Akla, Lep, good to see y'all. I don't know what Yojo is, but I will say, hey, Joe. Yeah, the three of you came on uh, in here together. That's Big Dookie in his pants. That's a sort of Stargen thing to say. I don't want to know shit about G.I. Joe. Don't talk to me about G.I. Joe. Hey, Lab, look, we already have the E ending. And the D ending. So now we might actually get some sort of good ending. No, not the genealogy. Door spell on this. Okay, we're about to die again. Gotta be something we can do here. We have defeated the candle boss. Yeah, we defeated that last stream. Oh! We just have the dagger and I. No, we don't kind we don't kind ending this death. That would be cruel. All right, I'm gonna go try talk to Ellen again. Or maybe I just have to have like a confrontation with Scissorman and straight up stab him. Or maybe with the dagger I can just head towards the end again. Head towards the the gateway out. Gotta be one of the three. The evil murderer lives. Hey, I have a dagger. 
No, just won't let us interact with him at all. We'll try Helen instead. Mega Bib, thank you for the San Ryan Kagura. And B for the bouncer. Yeah, he his weakness is uh the early, the incomplete scissor. Nothing offense, scissor man more. Mega, I just didn't feel like your heart was in it. I feel like your attentions are distracted elsewhere. Okay, why did I... Well, I suppose this also leads to where Helen is. I just took the not shortcut. A Minin, thank you for the Breath of the Wilds, and Axa for the Divinities as well, of course. A painting stabbing section. Helen is gone. All right, we'll try going to the. The bad end fountain again. Maybe if we have the dagger, we're uh, we're okay. Yeah, he's allowed to just hang out. Fine. Can I interact with the drain valve, please? Oh, wait a second. Do I have to look at the genealogy thing again? That's a bit of a hassle. You think it would let me continue from... Oh, I suppose I, I didn't save it. After... Getting the map. So we read the genealogy, now we learn about Quentin. Quentin says Kill Das is a man. Surely no one would want to ruin this peaceful, chill time that we're having. A scissor man moaning raunchily. Alright, this time we save it. We get the map. If scissor man does pop up on my way back to the vine, I'm just gonna stab him. Oh shit! Oh shit. No, I'm not. Hide. Hide. Push it. Jennifer, push it. Hehehe. <laughs> 
<laughs> he really did hear me talking shit. <laughs> Look, Killer, I've never done that. I never farted. I didn't fart. No, never fart. Uh, okay, now we save the game since we've got the map. Hopefully, I mean, I could have got the dagger from from the get go. I always try to interact in with the zombie dude. Never the stairs or the door rather never the door back out thank you lep for joining us today for bringing your joy and good times to our video games Poco, good morning. You can't just say your actual opinion and say I jest. That's not how it works. It is up to us though. Yeah, the, the puzzles in this game are, are a bit of a fuck. Just mostly in this this second uh, half. Or, or uh, well, third section rather. That sign scared me. All right. I'll just save it here again. The hope is that we're not just going to get the same ending. Actually, I really enjoy this game. The only thing that hasn't worked for me is the like few puzzles that I need help with at the end here. But I mean, point and click thing. You would expect a puzzle to some degree or like, you know, a puzzle that you need to walk through for. Oh, but ne oh, snow. Oh, we're moving ourselves. No child. Uh, we'll just go in anyway, it's fine. So it was you, Edward. <laughs> I guess the secret is finally out, Jennifer. But my name isn't Edward, it's Dan. <gasps> you don't mean... No! So, you remember me now. Jennifer! No! Come here, you scissor-fingered 
There's a hole by 30 centimeters wide. Dagger it. Door spell. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. Statue. Oh fuck. <laughs> Am I missing something I need? Thirty centimeters wide. So it was you, Edward. <laughs> I guess the secret is finally out, Jennifer. But my name. Yeah, to be fair, the Dan thing only works if you like immediately remember the plot of the first clock tower. Uh, Dan Barrows was the brother of the original Scissor Man. He was in the first game as a giant mutant baby that chases you whenever you find, like, the secret altar beneath the house. What is it? What am I supposed to use here? I don't understand. Oh, it is the statue. It just didn't work last time. And yeah, if you get the, the perfect ending of Clock Tower after you set Dan on fire during your escape, you see like a little uh Open the door and show little me thing the pop out of it. Oh shit! <laughs> I'm mashing the panic button even though it's not telling me to. Oh! Stab him! Stab him! I wonder how many days have passed since we were locked in here. Days? I think it's been only a night. Are we going to die like this? <sighs> Don't worry. I'm sure Helen will rescue us. You know, you're tough. <laughs> no, you're just weak. Tell him. Don't kiss him! No! Helen? Jennifer, Nolan, Helen. Nolan, you're going to jail. Helen, Helen uh, Jennifer's like 15. <laughs> Hee hee, as Jennifer would say. Square, I'm not sure that defense is gonna work in a court. The writer came up with that, no one did no wrong. I mean, no one did take right on a date beforehand. No one been no one been doing some sketchiness. <laughs> I 
Opium Japan, yeah. Although I was reading a little bit about the uh, the novelization of this, and supposedly like the other characters are like no one that's not on. So who knows? Who knows what the writer's intention was? That's the clock tower beaten. Game done. Mega, it's more like they're trying to deter, it's mainly, uh, what do you call her, Helen trying to deter Jennifer from spending time with him, but yeah. Um, yeah, but I would have thought that too, but nope, confirmed, 15. Clock tower two time, you might have to wait another year for that one or at least a couple months <laughs> if only we were all girls gone wild Actually, I have from third birthday. No, he's gonna get married to Nolan. No. I guess he did we'll cap this. A game about grooming. This is a draw metaphor the whole time. Maybe they know mocap the uh the three D movie bits. That's enough of you credits. Thoughts? We got the A rank ending, so I'm the best. But the thoughts will have to wait. Because we're doing one more playthrough. <laughs> That's what gooming is, Taylor. You're looking for a guma. Best ships in Clock Tower? Please no. In the two games I've played, over half the characters are underage. Please. Please no. Professor Bark. Professor Bark. Sister, we got ending A. Professor. You mustn't hypnotize her like this. How dare you? She's not ready to remember the murders yet. Helen, the Clock Tower murders are fascinating research material for me. 
I must know the truth of what happened. Hi, Toffee. She can't take any more of this today, Professor. I'm taking her home. What enemy going for? Anything as Helen. All right. But remember one thing, Helen. You may be her guardian. We're doing the second rod. My assistant. Yes, Professor. Yeah, I thought Barton would have been the, the villain of the game, but nope. Oh, do I have to inspect the scissors before I leave? Giant pair of scissors on the desk. They're a replica of the scissors used by the murderer in the clock tower case. These are like the weapon he used to slash up his victims. Yeah, Barton is a bit of a shit. <laughs> he sure is. He sure is not a good man. The clock tire murders. The mass murder of over 10 victims in this case. How intriguing. Uh, that was not Helen V. That was Kay, who was uh, Edward's guardian. The last place we saw Helen was after getting her out of the box and she translated the uh, the exit spell for us. Uh, no hat changes today. We see Zermanen. Hey, Professor, Helen left a few minutes ago and she looked really angry. Hmm. You know, Helen and Jennifer are really beginning to look like sisters, aren't they? I guess that's what happens when you live together. One mustn't let their personal feelings get in the way. Jennifer is nothing more than another research subject. Uh, yes. Yes, you're right. Well, it's gonna be now you're about to see the entire game from start to finish, so you can learn if you want to. Did you say you an appointment for an interview? It's about the clock tower murders, isn't it? Hmm. I guess they want to sensationalize this scissor man who really doesn't exist. Scissor man. It'd be cool if you were real. Huh? Uh just a joke. Oh, do I have to look at the statue? Statue. It's cold. One of the items found at the scene of the clock tower murders. Seems to be hiding some sort of secret. A good idea to get an expert opinion on this. V, when you put it that way. Might be kinda cool. Shouldn't keep the reporter waiting too long. Uh, I'm trying to leave. Have to look at the mask. Scissorman's rubber mask. A kind sold in cheap novelty shops. It seems to be fairly popular. People certainly buy stupid things. Harris's desk. Clipped out articles of the clock tower story are scattered about. Seems Harris has gone somewhere. There we go. Oh, Professor. A newspaper reporter was looking for you on the first floor. Oh, thank you.
That giant avocado baby in the intro cinematics, Kobe, was uh, Dan Barrows. The kid who reincarnates as the little guy, Edward, in this game. Oh, Professor. I'm the one who called you from the Oslo Weekly News. My name is Nolan Campbell. And this is Tim, my cameraman. It's a pleasure. I'm a bit busy. Please keep it brief. Then I'll get right to the point. Have you been able to figure out who the murderer is? Can't say anything for sure yet because the victim's testimony lacks credibility. Oh? You mean the victim that's testifying? That'd be Jennifer Simpson, wouldn't it? Yes, but what about her? Oh, nothing really. It's just that we saw her leaving a few minutes ago. And since we'd run into her, we asked her for an interview, but she refused. You just said her testimony lacked credibility. I know what you're going to say. That monster she was talking about. The scissor man. And whether he really exists or not. That's it. That's right. That's what our readers want to know. Because the existence of the scissor man has become a symbol of terror among youngsters. Yes, and that's because trashy gossip magazines like yours have sensationalized the whole thing. Yeah, it was, Kobe. It was at the end of it. How much you can say to that, is there? Whenever you uh, uncover the secrets of the Barrow family, you find out that they've been committing devilly rituals to turn their children into demons, essentially. Um, you find a, a giant altar underneath the mansion where the giant baby Dan is, and he starts chasing you out of there. And you uh, kick over a can of kerosene on your way out and hit it with a candle, and Dan burns up. But in the perfect ending of Clock Tower, the first one, a little uh, purple child raises from Dan's remains. They really could have, you know, a little bit of exposition on that <laughs> would have been welcome. Well, let's start from the conclusion. It's fact that there was a murderer who used a giant pair of scissors as his murder weapon. But that doesn't make him into an immortal monster. We're just dealing with some odd screwball. But what about what she said? She was scared. Thought she saw something. Oh, I see, but okay, that's it. Interview's over. There's something I must be attending to. Ah, well, okay. I understand. Thank you very much. Sorry I couldn't be as much help as you had hoped. I have to get back to the lab. I'm expecting another survivor of the clock tower incident. Murders. He's supposed to be a young boy, about 10 years old. Yeah, not going to be playing Clock Tower 2. Ghost Head, not going to be playing that immediately. I don't know if I'll wait the whole year for it. But we're definitely going to be taking a break from horror games after uh, October's over. And Karma is definitely one of the styles that did develop from the, the PS1 era, but... I wouldn't say Metal Gear Solid was the first that did that, but it definitely popularized it. Although I think maybe, maybe Metal Gear Solid just had more influence on like the the cinematic nature of storytelling rather than the actual exposition heaviness but i can't think of like really many early many earlier exposition heavy games 
Even JRPGs tended to be a bit terse before then. Matoi Ryoko. He was sick of being in a one hit wonder anime. Oh, that's right. I still need to get an expert opinion on this statue. Professor, the boy that survived the clock tire murders is here. Oh, has he arrived already? Yes, he's waiting in the therapy room. Nanai B, thanks for chilling with us. Sleep well. I should probably ask Professor Sullivan, the head librarian at the Metrop Metropolitan Library. Yes, but there was that old butler at the Barrows Estate named Rick. I'll show it to him first to see if he knows anything. Pretty sure he lives in the suburbs. Could ask Harris to show it to him. No. All right then, I'll have Professor Sullivan at the Metropolitan Library take a look. Okay, that's that. Probably go to the therapy room. Y'all asking for more visual novels? We can do that. Thank you very much for coming. How do you do? I'm an instructor at the Granite Orphanage. I'm Edward's guardian. Edward? I thought he completely lost all his memory from the shock. Does he remember his name? No, I call him Edward because not having a name to go by makes things very difficult. No, since this is our first day. Will you answer some simple questions for me? Okay, Edward. I want you to honestly tell me everything you remember about what happened. Uh, yes. Well then, let's get started. We did it! We beat Clocktar. said your hard drive crashed? That's too bad. Yes, I lost all of this morning's data. Hope I can get it fixed sometime today. Otherwise, I won't get my dissertation done on time. Don't worry. When Danny gets back, I'm sure he'll be able to help you. You're probably right. In the meantime, I'm going to step out for a bit. Would you ask Danny for me, please? Sure. See you later. Yeah, pretty much. We finally didn't have a name, so... Place older name, yeah. Where should I go? Campus Heights where I live. Jennifer should probably be getting home soon. Hmm. Jennifer's gone somewhere. Wonder if she's found a boyfriend. Hee <laughs> hee. Metropolitan Library. Many university personnel use it. Hello, Helen. Mr. Sullivan. What are you doing here today? Oh, nothing really. Just thought I would drop by. Oh, I see. I wanted to show you my collection. I've just added a new piece. Ah, yes, well, maybe next time. Oh. 
Norway International Hotel. Edward and his guardian are staying here. They're here. Oh, Helen. How's it going? Any results from Professor Barton's therapy? No, but can't give up hope. Sometimes something will jog one's memory. Yes. Would we be staying here long? Mr. Barton also thought it a good idea. We plan to stay here for a while. Oh, really? Well, hang in there, Edward. Yes, Miss Maxwell. I mean, we have the Oslo Municipal Library. I believe this is also what it's called the Os Oslo University. Oslo Weekly Newspaper. I'll be mobbed by reporters if I go over there. Police station. Assistant Inspector Gotts. Person in charge of the clock tire case is here. Well, hey, Teach. Got some new info? No. Have you got any leads? Nope. Nothing. That old geezer of yours. He ain't coming clean. You mean Professor Barton? Yeah, that's him. Yeah, there ain't nothing straight about the case. Yes. That sounds like Professor Barton. What about that little cutie? Jennifer? She's still having nightmares occasionally. I ain't surprised. She was almost slashed up too, wasn't she? Well, let me know if you learned something. Okay, bye! Didn't realize it was this lit. Got to get back to the university. Well, should get home and work on my dissertation. It took place in a manner that was called the clock tower, colloquially, by people nearby. People who lived in the area, because it was, uh... Well, because it had a big old clock tower. Got a curse question about some anime? Okay. Yes. Yes, it does. Oh, Miss Maxwell, I replaced your hard drive. Thanks. That's a big help. I'm going down to lunch for a short nap. What are you going to do? Well, I'll be going home soon. Oh, okay, well, no need to lock up. Okay. Look, there was a very active trend in, like, mainstream safe for work yaoi manga back in the day to essentially just design girls with short hair, such as was the case with Gravitation, any of my, my fellow anime fans may be aware. Top three anime bottoms. Matthew from uh, Eureka 7. Definitely subs to Hilda, 100%. Um, Vegeta, because, you know, Bulma's clearly in charge there. Bulma says what goes. And... I imagine in the Goto Ghetto relationship in Jujutsu Kaisen, it probably would have been... 
Gojo as the bottom. Okay, says Danny. that you, Baker? Oh, it's you, Helen. Baker's still in the lab. Bunk bed for napping. No one's using them now, but when academic society meetings are near, quite a scramble to find an empty bed. Rose, are you seeing Baker again here? Yes, sort of. Well, no matter how late it is, remember, don't use the university as a motel. You fucking in bunk beds? That can't be good. Let me sleep a little longer until Baker comes. Old air conditioner, it doesn't work very well. The surrounding campus is lit up by the street lights. Comic book brought in by one of the staff. There's some cosmetics on the shelf brought in by the staff. Don't know which is whose. Women's Lodge can be locked from the inside. Long beds for napping. Uh huh. I think it's about time for a nap. Would you turn off the light, please? Can't sleep with it on. Of course. Rose, what were you doing in here? Well, I guess the scene cut in when we were already in here, so maybe we turned the light on as we were coming in. There's a man definitely coming in here. Get ready for some scissor manning. Take a quick cat nap and then work on my report. There's no mattress on that bed. Well, now who is it? Door won't open. Pick it up. Ah! Oh, shit. I have no idea, Lap. I couldn't tell you. The work into the university here. I mean, there was a bundle of blankets, so I assume something might have happened. Well, that'll do it. Professor Fierro's lab. He's a social psychologist. No way to get into this lab. He 
desk. They've got budget problems here too. You are also not good at the computer. What are you telling me? Nothing abnormal. Also, can I get a little uh, exclamation point death, if you please? Magazine rack. There are many academic journals. Something written on the table. In five, baby. Ah! Uh. Fuck you, buddy! But I also want to go in there. Nothing that might be useful. Locked. Now there's some dress shirts, neckties, and umbrellas. One is well prepared. Several stuffed animals inside. I wonder why these are here at university. Flashlight. This might be useful. Okay. Save it. Now we got a flashlight. Hello, police department. There's been a murder. Come, quickly, please. Please relax, ma'am. Did you see the murderer? He's the one with the giant scissors. Scissor man. You've heard of him, haven't you? If this is a prank phone call... Wait! <laughs> Best police guy. Am I capable of making my voice sound like a different person? No. <laughs> I'm glad to go be. And yeah, yeah. We're getting the, the full police experience right here. Beth's test. Cut it with stuffed animals. I think Beth forgot these. This must be the one with the powerful, irritating... Mel. Is 
This man's profile is here too. Many files on kids of mental illness. Harris's desk. There are many cut out articles in the clock tower case scattered all over it. Harris is quite energetic in his investigation of Scissor Man. Danny's desk. Really messy. Chugga, the Scissor Man is not real. There are no scissors here. A Zebu. I'm doing A okay. Ready for another week of war. Uh, uh. Volumes in psychoanalysis. Some of them were written by Professor Barton. Old criminal records. Reading too many of these could drive you crazy. Professor Barton's desk. That's right. Professor Barton's phone should be able to call outside. The line is dead. <laughs> How bad are the zoomies? How young is the kitten? Are they okay? Rose is laying on the bed. Oh, there you go. That's what happened to Rose. Classic Rose. <laughs> I mean, yeah, true. She has form. Patient files are stored here. Bottles of medicine. Hey, cursed. <laughs> are you booba facing, my crow? Something written on the file. Nope, we're getting all the other hints now. Wait, were you saying that she's a Largo kitten or that her name is Largo? That's her Mori Kunis's. Laboratory. The door won't open. Trash can. Well, we got ending A as Jennifer. I'm just going to take whatever good-ish ending I can get as Helen. Her name is Psycho. <laughs> nice. She sounds wonderful. It's going to do it again. Will it do it a second time? Locked. Ah, uh, it sure will. 
I actually jumped. God damn it. It made me jump despite the fact that I was like full aware that this was somewhat likely to happen. <laughs> Obviously we're never gonna get that best ending. Criteria are too much. Blood on her hands. Probably beggars. Huh? The ending of Clock Tower 4 shows the protagonist's transformation into a round borb. Blacklist from Katari because she was vicious. Oh shit. Tars. They are the hits. It is true. Got your quota done. Thank you for performing your duty. I could only find something to use as a weapon. Wooden box of stuff with papers, probably old research documents. Everything seems normal. Nothing except except the scrap of paper. Many parts for computers. Door should lead to the parking lot outside. Huh. Doorknob is wired shut. It won't open. Oh, that's right. This door isn't supposed to be used. But I wonder if I could do something to the wire. Reacher's lab currently not being used. The door is locked and won't open. No way to open this door. Well, this is the last room that I have yet to check. Well, I could go back to the sleeping room. There's a key line on the table. What's this? Storage key? I mean, a key's just not gonna work on it. It's wired shut, he said.
I remember like a storage area. Unless this were like one of the lockers. Storage key. At least he's very clear there's... Oh, fuck! Nice, Kobe. Take care of yourself. Thanks for chilling. The music's not fading out as long as we're here. He's gonna be right out there. Ah, uh, shit. I got myself in a dead end. Huh. Oh no.
really don't know where to use the storage key. Danny's desk. Ours's desk. Oh, I know I can come back here for the mace. Get into chase mode again. A trash can. And this is what, the computer room, isn't it? Oh no. Top floor door maybe? Door to the rooftop. Locked and can't be opened. Oh that's right. This door is kept locked ever since someone committed suicide by jumping off the university roof. Oh shit. I'm surprised that the game has never done the thing of like a fat guy with the music. That'll be really unfair in a good way. They tried with the shadow. I mean, look. This is early PS1 tag right here. Brown or best. Okay, nope. An emergency ladder, but it can't be used because it's locked. This certainly would be a big help in an emergency. That is not the key for it. It. 
Kill. 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 It took him a long time to set this up. He's very proud of it. Can I just use the bathroom again? Is this the one that I can reuse? A washroom. Man, what on earth is this key supposed to be for? Absolutely no one in sight. Uncomfortable bunk beds, famous for being squeaky. That's odd, doesn't even budge. You know what, let's check some of the hints. See if they can tell us anything about this key. Because I've checked everything I can think to interact with. Pinch so many times I'm clicking on some item, rescue the character. Yep, yep. Endings except ending E are determined according to how many conditions were met in the last scenario. What's well, the important point is who is asked to investigate? I know all this already, man. Alright. We're going to Google this.
Oh, shit. Okay, that's all I didn't find. You enter a room. Completely empty except for a treasure chest in the middle of the room. You waddle towards the chest. Waddle? Excuse you. I roll towards the chest. Cautiously you open the chest, only to find and forcibly accept Valkyria Chronicles votes. You accidentally interact with the chest again, and the chest has a note you didn't see before saying. Just play Valkyria Chronicles if you're looking for more votes. Wait, votes for what? Play Valkyria Chronicles if I'm looking for more votes for Valkyria Chronicles? Is that what you're saying to me? Man, I interacted with these a few times in the uh, previous playthroughs. I just assumed that everything in this room was useless again. There are some tools here. I wonder if it's being repaired. This might be useful. Clears. Everything is useless unless something is useful. Yeah. Is this the one thing that I forgot about? I thought the computer room was going to be useless again, but my mistake. Oh, fuck. Wait, he's in here. It's locked. Open. Oh no. Uh, it worked. It opened. Got to get to my car and fast. We did it, and I didn't need any help. <laughs> uh. What in the fuck is going on? We haven't solved the last case yet, and now another mass murder? And you're saying the murderer is Scissorman? But it's true. I saw him clearly. Oh boy, oh boy. I sure hope you weren't daydreaming with Jennifer. Well, we're done questioning you for now. You can go on home now, Teach. Hmm. Oh, but don't go anywhere too far for a while. Because I'll probably have to call you in again. Soon. 
I know, Gots. Alan. It's all right, Jennifer. Let's keep looking for more clues by Scissorman. If we don't do something ourselves, we'll probably kill us. No need for sarcasm, Teach. I really do want to believe your story, you know. Was it the real Scissorman? Yes, but I don't know if it was the same one who attacked you before. But he sure didn't look human to me. Well, shall we go? Okay. Why would why would he say don't be sarcastic when I'm talking about him? <laughs> talking about a being chased by a serial killer. No reason to go to the newspaper office. I wonder if Edward is there. Helen, I heard that you were attacked by Scissorman. Yes, I was. I don't know if he was the same one as in the clock tower murders. Though, maybe he'll go after Edward too. Where is Edward? I think he's in the library. Seems to like it there. I'll go there and check on him then. Would you? Please tell him to come back soon. Metropolitan Library. I wonder if Professor Sullivan is there. Excuse me, is Mr. Sullivan here? No, he hasn't come back yet. Oh, I see. Well. Never mind that then. The investigation of the scene seems to be over. Helen, are you all right? Yes, but more importantly, can we use the room now? Yes, but we couldn't get in all morning because of the investigation. Hey, what up, Josh? Uh, I do have Game Pass, yeah. By the way, Beth, I'd like to take a look at the statue. You mean the one they found at the scene of the clock tower murders? A hey, Kaleo? Right. I think Professor Barton had it. Well, he did, but... I think he asked someone to take a look at it. It's not here? No, and Professor Barton isn't either. He's away on some police business. Darn. I wanted to look at the statue because I was hoping it would give me a clue. But Scissorman. Thank you for the Sanran Kagura votes, Galeo. Wait, Stars, what am I supposed to read it like, like Dynasty? You just want me to say the word Dynasty Warriors? I can do that for you. Did he tell you where he was taking it? I think he said he'd either take it to the library or to a man named Rick. If he took it to the library, that would be Mr. Sullivan. But who is Rick? Don't know. Alright. I'll go over to the library. I'll call Mr. Sullivan. Thanks. Nah, nah, you didn't really need to redeem one for each of them. Um, Forza Horizon 5, I might play out again whenever all the DLC comes out. Need for Speed Unbound. Maybe. Dark Tide, probably. Yeah. Unbind's the one that just got announced, isn't it? The one with that cool visual style. And
<sighs> oh. I've been yawning like crazy today. I've like been muting myself. The Fortnite art style. Oh, jeez. I wouldn't call it the Fortnite Fortnite art style, but it's like uh, it's like rotoscoped, isn't it? Or like cell shaded. Got something funky going on with his visuals. Cell shaded, yeah. Cell shaded like a graffiti art looks. Probably gonna just think of it as a Fortnite art style from now on. <laughs> no. Pronounce everything in this game like Dynasty. Okay. Oh, you mean like the dialogue from Dynasty Warriors? I get you. Driving style gassy. Common problem. Alright, so not back there yet. Do we see Mr. Gotts again? Oh yes. I'll ask Gotts about Rick. Got any info, Teach? You know a man named Rick? Rick? That sounds familiar. Oh yeah, he's the old geezer that used to be the butler for the Barrows family. The Barrows family of the clock tower case? That would mean he... Well, he quit ten years before it all happened. I went to see him once, but he didn't know anything about the case. I'm gonna guess it just means that you get more of the smoke effects that pop up. But anyway, what about him? Well, Professor Barton might have given the statue to him. Statue? What for? Statue just might be the key to the secret of Scissorman. I think Professor Barton wanted him to look at it. I see. And since you believe in Scissorman, you want to get your hands on it too? Well, if you want to put it that way. Well, we ain't got any other leads, do we? I can go and get it. You will? All I have to do is talk to Rick and get the statue. Right? Nothing to it. Yes, but... Nope, we are not asking God because the statue is not there this time. Thank you for offering, but Mr. Sullivan at the library may have it. If he doesn't, I'll give you a call. Okay, no problem. Just let me know as soon as you need me. Man, I'm yawning again. Same price for the regular and deluxe editions. Oh, you don't get the full game if you're on... If you're on EA Play, if they don't have the full game on that, I probably, I'm not going to say I probably won't play it, but it's less likely. Or at least I doubt, I'll probably not play it until, like, when it's first released. 10-hour trial? Uh, could be fun for a single stream, maybe. Is it just on November 29th? If it's just on that day, then nah, I'm not going to be playing it. Excuse me, is Mr. Sullivan in? Mr. Sullivan, not in the head librarian's office. I see. Thank you. When's the next movie game? Uh, next Friday, we'll count it. He starts November 29th and goes on forever. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, I might, uh... I might take a look. Oh, it releases December 2nd. Okay, well, I'll probably take a look at the... the... the trial at some point. Well, if it isn't Edward, what are you doing here? Boring at the hotel. Hmm. 
Is Kay with you? No, she isn't. Oh. Reading room. Cannot be entered without a key. I'm sure, this is Mr. Sullivan's office. Hello, Helen. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Mr. Sullivan? Heard about what happened to you. How terrible. Yes. We literally just chatted to this guy yesterday. I don't know why he's saying it's been a long time. By the way, Mr. Sullivan. Yes, I have heard. There's something you'd like to research? I'll give you a key to the reading room. So you can use the reference materials. As you please. The reading room is right next door. Oh, and... The statue. Oh yes, that's it. Professor Barton left it with me. Please, come pick it up on your way out. Thank you very much, Mr. Sullivan. Because you're a returning player, I see. Now I can enter the reading room. The reading room. There are many valuable works here. Only available to university personnel. I just hope there's something here that will... Blend the scissor man. Doesn't seem to be in this area. Books relating to England are up there. This is a book I've been wanting to read for a long time, but this is hardly a good time. Lords of Northern England. This is it. Fast food place I go back to the most? Uh, nothing like, no major chains. But there is a really nice Chinese place right here. There used to be a great place that did fried chicken, but they've stopped doing fried chicken, so what's, what's even the point? Genuinely heartbroken, devastated that, that place doesn't do fried chicken anymore. Excuse me, but the library will be closing shortly. Oh, I see. Find a clue about Scissorman. We'll have to pick up the statue. Not cannibalism, they're a different species. I dare you. Strange. The clock is chiming. Oh, Mr. Sullivan. Ellen. It seems the bells of the giant clock are broken. I think I'll go have a look. Well, I'll go with you. Thank you. Please, follow me. Yeah. Gosh, I've been a bit of trust in trying that game on. Not sure if I'll get around to it soon, but I do want to play it. Hopefully before it leaves Game Pass. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, damn.
Hey, Linux Club, how's it going? Top 10 on all maps for PC for Game Pass, 5 days of lunch, jeez. Only the sweatiness of gaming. Oh shit. How'd he pop up there? Get him. Helen? Edward's voice is heard from upstairs. Edward's voice? Can't still be here. Top three horror games. Uh, the original Clock Tower for the SNES. Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem, and Silent Hill 3 would be the... Three reliable choices. There are many books about archaeology on the shelf. Some are written by Mr. Sullivan. But uh, yeah, we've been going for different ends. Cleo, we got three as Jennifer. We're playing as a different character this time. I'm only trying to get one good ending as Helen. Doesn't have to be the, the best one. I just want to get one before we fi and finish tonight, and then we'll just watch the rest of them. Personal computer. Even to Mr. Sullivan struggling amateurishly at the keyboard, the mind. Just a trash can. Was there an enemy with Sisman who's just a troubled youth? I mean... Kinda. Edward's voice. And it's coming from inside that room. Edward. Edward. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Is she okay? Yeah, I mean, Sand Hill is, uh, subtext the video game, isn't it? You got that Heath coverage? Enjoy covering Heath. What's up, Brilliant Ben Gaming? I always want to try this game just based on the cover art, but the controls look difficult. They can be finicky at sometimes, but it's actually one of like the better moving cursors that I've seen in a PS1 game, to be honest. It's just sometimes you're like really, really pixel hunting for things that are on the screen. I open this door? <laughs> I ruined it. Sorry, I'm very, very happy for you. Genuinely, that's uh, that's a major boon. 
It's available on the PC. Uh, not officially. <laughs> Too busy being racist and wanting the black man to feel. Still be here. Yeah. What I'm known for. It's dangerous here. Come with me. Edward, you hide under this table until I call you. Be a good boy, and don't worry, yeah. we'll make it. Yeah, like, it, it's strange here, it's, it's not... It's not something that you'd normally be concerned about. But it's like... Legitimately, the, the, the single biggest thing that has stood in the way of uh, me ever potentially moving to America. I got dental with it as well. Very nice. Good shit. I don't have time to read these books. There are many encyclopedias. Red stains on these books. Blood? She's the library clerk I just saw. Oh shit! <laughs> Uh, the only person who'd probably be making that joke at me, Karma, is is Starge. Revenge for all the quote-unquote racisms I've done against him. Brilliant, Ben. Thank you very much for the follow. Really appreciate it. That's hack and old hat. That is... Definitely not the first justification I would use to not be racist, but it works. It does work. Files line the shelves. Like a key or something I can get here. Nothing that seems useful. Rather primitive copier. Obviously having budgetary problems. Here too. Just like at the university. Everything seems normal here. Some forms and loan cards on the table. Damn, where was the key to Mr. Sullivan's back office? Police car siren is heard. Someone must have called the police. Door cannot be opened from the front. Many policemen are swarming around outside, looking for a way in. There are so many people, just on the other side of the door. Jimmy, thank you for the bouncy boys, I will take my 50 votes towards... Dragon's Dogma. Time, um, time to become a Dragon's Dogma poster.
That was good time, Sarge. I cried. Doesn't seem possible. There were so many people here a moment ago. A magazine. The smile on the cover of the model looks fake. Vent. Cover with a wire screen fastened with screws. That's it. Edward could fit through. He's small. If I could just get the screen off. Already check that. There are envelopes and documents relating to multiple personalities on the desk. The center of these envelopes is Professor Barton. I really shouldn't look inside. Wonder if there's anything else. Oh, the key is inside the drawer. I have collection room key. I'm sure the collection room is in the back. Now I can enter the collection room. The collection room is where Mr. Sullivan keeps the artifacts he dug up in Egypt and other places. Of which he's very proud. Mr. Sullivan's shown you this room many times, but this time it's pitch dark inside. There needs to be an aquarium here. I could use a light from it. Alright, how could you? Mr. Sullivan got his head cut off by the hand of a clock tower. Thank goodness, the power's on here. Solomon probably kept it here. That used together with the other artifacts. Thank goodness. There it is. I have the statue. Since I have what I came for, now all I have to do is find a way out. There are many ancient swords, strangely shaped pots, and other valuable artifacts. Valkyr deals or something or other. Thank you. Hmm. What could be here? What could it possibly be? We're gonna lamp him. We're gonna literally lamp him. Fuck you. Right. 
Operation panel, the giant clock tower, it's covered with rust. And I thought there was like tools up here. We need something to undo the panel of the reading room. How would I read this boobs? You know what, they started at like a 7, but after enough time playing it, they're down to like a 3 or a 4. So okay, like it's still it's still spoopy, it's high tension, but at this point in the game I know how to outmaneuver the scissorman like almost every time. Computer for managing the library. Hope it's networked to the outside. Plant. Doesn't seem useful. Uh, probably in one of these drawers. Everything seems normal here. Nothing here that seems useful. Wonder if there's something useful here. Screwdriver. <clears throat> he is a supernatural entity. You can't kill him, but you can indeed bonk him and run. He is susceptible to the bonk. I just have to hope that he doesn't start chasing me before we get to Edward. Mystery gang would run circles around Scissor Man. Truly, yeah. Edward, come out from there and come over here. Edward, you can probably squeeze through here to the outside. Hurry, run away from here. Okay, I will. Now how the hell do I get out? That made me jump. Hey, team. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I've seen this before and it made me jump. Teach. Hang in there. Okay, now we're in entirely new territory. Final chapter of Helen's playthrough. Uh I've not played Heavenly Sword, but I wouldn't know how to play it either. Fuck. How many people does this man want to kill? Alright, Teach, that's enough questioning. You can go on home now. Uh. 
I, I mean, it might be emulatable. But I don't know if it is. So maybe. It's on PS3, but yeah, I don't have... I mean, I do have a PS3, but I don't want to go through the effort of, like, hooking it up and shit. Also, I think its stores are closed now, aren't they? Isn't that one hard to emulate? I don't know. I've never really looked that much, too much into PS3 emulation, to be honest. But, uh, yeah. I am going to take a quick BRB. And, uh... You know what? Let's enjoy... A trip through time and space.
Okay, we are back. Rat's been AKA the bitrate killer. A good murderer name. Gods. I've learned something interesting about Scissorman. You got something? Yes. I know where the Barrow's Castle is. The Barrow's Castle? Yes. It's where the Barrow's family used to live. Before they immigrated here. Go on. I looked further and found a historical record saying that a monster was born in the castle. They must have somehow killed Scissorman back then. Good point. So, I'm planning to go there. Are you crazy? It's way too dangerous. As long as he alive, we aren't safe anywhere. As long as he alive? He realized she fucked up. Alright, but one thing. What's that? I'm going with you, okay? Gods. Go pre-install it. Brick size. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm clearly thinking that Helen should speak into Bonix. Fits her character. I both take a good England with you. He was really sarcastic about it though. You can hear this right? No, honestly, I was trying to remember the word ebonics. <laughs> I think Jennifer said something about a newspaper reporter called Nolan. Excuse me, Miss Helen Maxwell? You have good timing. I so. Well, we've learned a bit of information. That you're going to England. You find the lead? How did you find out? Well, it was easy. The assistant inspector in charge of the case is going to England. So it was a pretty easy guess. Well, I'll be. Gotta say, Helen's Act 3 outfit nowhere near as Stalin as uh, Jennifer's coat. <laughs> we're going, we're coming to Brazil finally. How about it? Can we come? I don't mind, but I don't know if Gods will like it. Hey, no problem. We're used to him yelling at us. Alright. See you at the airport. First thing in the morning. We'll be there. See you in the morning. Tim didn't say a single thing there. Just stared at us. Edward seems to have come back safely. Edward, thank heaven you're alright. Yes, thank you Mrs. Maxwell. Thank you very much Mrs. Maxwell. By the way, we are thinking we should go back to the Granite Orphanage. I don't think Edward should be staying anywhere, but there might be danger. Oh, I see. We're going to England tomorrow, so I suppose this is goodbye. To England? Yes, we're going to a castle called the Barrow's Castle. We're hoping to find some clues about Scissorman. May I go too? Edward, what are you saying? He'll probably kill me too if I stay here. I want to go along and help. Edward, that is... Please, Kay. Well, alright then. Please look after him, Miss Maxwell. Hmm. Well, alright. We'll be the first flight tomorrow. Wait, it's okay, doesn't come along with your plan as Helen.
Helen, I've decided to go with you to England. Oh, really? And what should I take to wear? We're not going for fun and games, you know. Oh, that again. I thought we might be able to see Barton or the other dude. But yeah, I'm not going to pre-install no Persona yet. It hasn't won nothing. The Republic should still not be allowed to enter. Professor Barton, Harris, you've just been to the scene of the murder. What a terrible thing to have happen. Yes, but one good thing came out of it. I now know where the Barrows used to live in England before immigrating. Here. I suppose that's where his home is? Yes, and I think I'll find some clues about him there. So what are you going to do now? I'd like to go to England tomorrow. May I? Hmm. Alright then. But our research staff will go with you. We may discover some material that will be important in the future. I suppose that will be okay. Very well then. I'll go get ready. I so many children in the bus at half ten at night. What age children are we talking? We were talking like teenagers, cause that's understandable. Jennifer must be worried. Nothing for me to do here. Scott should be here at the university. Well, they're clearly rabble rising. Arrest them. Helen, are you alright? Yes, I was able to get the statue. And I found a clue. Right. The inspector told me about going to the Barrow's castle. Suddenly we've got 10 people going to England. Criminy. This is supposed to be serious business. I've contacted the police in England. And I've also arranged a rental car. From the airport. Thank you, Gots. We're coming to get you, Scissor Man. This time you'll be doing the running. Barbara, we're coming to get you. Sun's going down. It'll be dangerous to move about in the dark. Let's camp here. Strange. Where's Jennifer? Teach. Have you seen Harris and Edward? Kay's looking all over for them. But you can't find them anywhere. Oh no. Jennifer is missing too. They can't be missing. The castle. Hurry. Look, we told them we're here by the scissor man. They understood immediately. What's wrong? Teach. Everyone's waiting. Oh, yes. Oh, 
What happened? There's a gaping hole. No way to get across. The choppy woppy nibbly man, that's it. This is... I wonder who this is. Small handprint is plainly visible on the table surface. Looks like one of Monk's old paintings. I wonder if it's authentic. That's interesting. She actually comments on the paintings where Jennifer's is like, this is an old painting. Goodbye. Uh. Beth, are you all right? Helen, everyone's lost. Hang in there, Beth. I want to look around some more. Are we going to still wander around here? The key to defeating Scissorman is here somewhere. <laughs> we gotta bust a wolf bath. I mean, Beth, you should stay here. Better than how we find Beth in. Uh... You've got to be joking! I'm not going to leave left alone again. I'm going with you. Don't. If you start moving with me, you're one hundred percent about to die. Go on forever. Flashlight. In Jennifer's playthrough, Beth was uh, stuffed into a wine casket. So she's doing okay so far. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. 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 <laughs> All right, no, don't fall off. And Terry isn't real. Then you don't think Terry's real? Probably cockroaches. Teapot. Bits are smashed into pieces. What a shame. Garbage can. The inside is stained black. Grind pan. Very heavy. Hey, Didi. Uh. Oh. Harris, don't scare me like that. What's up? Did you find anything? No. Oh well, it's a good looking place anyway, quite relaxing. 
<laughs> it just says relax. What are you saying? Scissorman is lurking around here somewhere. That's a, that was a nice little It's just a hunch mistranslation. He's after me. Because he is after you. What? Oh, I found this key a while ago. You can have it. I wonder which door it opens. Yeah, I wonder too. You'd better find a way to kill Scissor Man soon. Fireplace key. Well, we already know from the hint that we're not supposed to use the item that Harris gives us. It's a bad idea. Empty. Square board has been fit into the floor. Hmm? Maybe a switch at the back of the shelf. I'm walking here. Uh, or the earlier one. There are many bottles of wine. Something smells sour. Wine barrels. Shelf is covered with cobwebs. So does this room just have no use in her playthrough? What was that sound? Thank you for the Utter Wilds, Taylor. I'm sure you've been doing that game of service in particular. I'm not open without a key. Oh, no one dead this time. I love that she doesn't like this straight up smack him with it. Just covers his eyes. 
He's like a budgie. He sleeps now. Many of the leaves look diseased. I wonder where the water is draining from. You ignore me, Starge? Is it because I haven't reinstalled Persona? Book is on the bed. Cover of this book. It's made of copper. Okay, so it seems like at least some of the puzzles here are working the same way. Cabinet covered in dust. Oh no! There's a tattered note. A spell to exorcise the devil children is concealed in the fireplace. Quentin Barrows. Exorcise the devil children. That's it. Rock coat. Nice. Yeah, man, you remember, it feels like customized cursors have kind of gone the same way as, well, oh. chimney that Santa might come out of. Portraits of the airs. Okay, so she doesn't care as much that Quentin Barrows is there. Oh, oh. No, wait, 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 can you? Okay, fuck it. Run, 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 run. run. Oh no, wait, wait, I know that he won't come in here as long as, long as I'm here, but he'll also- Oh wait, shit, yes he will! Ah! Okay, now we're fine. We're okay. We just keep making him fall down holes. And Tovar's a viable strat. This <laughs> is pure nonsense. Yeah. Good nonsense, though. Alright, can I get a different one? Oh, that's where we came in.
too much. We we have entered the hurt feeling zone. I'm sorry, Starge. I have to put on makeup today. Ways to jerk scissor man. I mean, legit, the coolest one is using the bells of the clock tar to send them careening off said tar or into the uh, the electric panel in the first game. Uh. Nolan just straight up punches him in this game, which is pretty funny. Or just throwing an, another one, third one, just throwing like a sheet at him. Any bed that has a sheet on it, you can just pick up the sheet and like throw it at him and he'll struggle underneath the sheet and long enough for me to run out of the room. I like to sleep in a bed like this sometime. A moose. We got some rat jams. Newspaper dated 1912. The same year the Barrows immigrated from England. Too dark to see well. There's a mice hole on the wall behind the table. Something in the mice hole. There's a key in the mice hole. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. <laughs> okay. What's up, Loco? Yeah, that is a death. That damn bad scared everything in this room again. All right, I have a torch. I'm gonna use the torch here. Is that the deal? Oh no, the batteries are dead. Well. Shit, I'm guessing the batteries can be like be anywhere in this game. Dummy mommies. Uh Bandetta, clearly. Vice from King of Fighters, sure, why not? Hmm. What's force addiction from? I guess Nina William Kynes is literally a mother. A dresser. What a nice design. Old cosmetics box. Broken down sofa. Things look like they're ready to poke through. Nothing but dust.
All right, I want to check this hint from Helen's playthrough again. Chun Li. Hmm. If you tell me where it's from, it'll be spoilers. Is it a song from a game that I'm likely to want to play? If I haven't already. Because I want to play, you know. I want to play a song from like Breath of the Wild if we're about to play that, for instance. Uh, then I will reverse your redemption. I'll give you your, your points back from that. Be very careful of the item she's given by Harris. If she uses it... I want to play Thousand Games. Yeah, but there are some like I'm, I'm going to play imminently. In the very near future. But also, if you don't tell me what the what game it's from, then... How am I supposed to know if I've got the right one? Oh shit. Well, it's shit. The uh, there's like nothing to fight him with in there. Uh, I mean, I don't promise to play any game. The rending fence. The gate is locked. If you're trying to get me to play a song, me knowing the game would kind of be essential. It's patched away with a ladder inside the chimney. Oh, well, I'm pretty sure we just got a bad end. These black, ro black robes are hanging on the racks. They're all covered with dust. It's Yakuza 0. I've played Yakuza 0. See? We'd have none of this fuss if you just told me the game from the beginning. <laughs> oh, shit. How did I not know the song? I don't know the name of every song from every game I've played. Not a true gamer. True. Don't ever dare call me a true gamer. Caricature religious fresco. Ominous images are everywhere. This Maddox case is locked and will not open. Tattered and fried Bible. Oh, Mega, you want us to play some hurdles tonight? We can do that. Many books on religions from around the world. What a collection, but I have no time to admire it. These look like documents made here. What's this? 
Ah. My favorite song from New Yakuza Zero is uh, Pledge of Demons, pretty fucking badass. Oh no! Jennifer. What should I do? Jennifer. Oh no! Jennifer, oh why? Stange. It was permeated by the smell of blood. Torture instruments. This is the first time I've seen the real thing. There are blood stains all over it. There are chains hanging from the walls. Many people have probably been put in these chains. Honestly, look, oh, I'm getting sick of the topic already just from the amount that it's on like social media and stuff. Oh. Oh. Uh, none to apologize for, dude. Just. Yeah, it's kind of been talked to death at this point. Definitely, uh, you know, something for you to be sorry for. Ah, uh, shit. Sick of Stargen. God damn. from Dr. Slam. Look, do you think you're gonna start a, like an art Twitter or an article or something? Cause I, I would like to keep up with the stuff you've been drawn. Shit, I don't know what to do. Post on the Discord server? Yeah, by all means, feel free. Anytime.
Oh. The deal is not giving, yeah. Really isn't. <laughs> My name is Skylar White, yo. Ah, video so good. Yeah, the maybe new post as well. Got a good uh, kick out a lot. Luck karma. I prayed for you. Stream for an additional eight hours. Or why not? Nah, I can't believe Jennifer's dead. That's fucked up. I live but to serve. Probably painted by one of the barrows. It is signed barrows. All right, you know what? I'm probably just going to FAQ. Okay. Oh shit. Is there even anything I can use here? Oh, here it is.
Now I'm supposed to find Nolan already, it says. Oh, oh, damn. I missed one of the, the key items. That's why I had nowhere else to go. What I'm going to do is celebrate hitting 1k viewers. I was thinking of like a subathon. Also, take care, Kaleo. Sorry if I missed you. Uh, peering through the... The game facts. Okay, shit, there's something I need to find. Oh, that's where it is. This isn't the door where I dangle, is it? No. So probably could have spared Jennifer had I find this sooner. Takes the speech would be a nightmare. I mean, both of them could be combined. But yeah, I'd have to set some sort of minimum on the text-to-speech, I'm sure. <laughs> it's Morty. Had a, oh geez, every like three words or so. attacked me from behind. My head is still throbbing. What about Jennifer? Have you found her? Uh... No, not yet. That's a lie. That's okay. I'll help you look. <laughs> we'll find her. The straight up... Huge old lie. Mini tape recording on the floor, probably no one's. Should be batteries in here. Noise, noise. We need the right size. Oh, good. They fit in the flashlight. Hmm. 
Cloth sack inside? What's this? Really heavy. Lead balls are the size of baseballs. Nothing useful here. Or destined for not the best end, that's for sure. But we're going to take whatever ending we get from here and uh, just watch the rest on YouTube afterwards. Will not open. Huh. Can we just not access that room? There's no such thing as coincidence. Yeah, can't access it from the other end either. Fountain in the inner garden can be seen below. It opened. Someone has been reading some books about demonology. It's a light ass fire. Some words carved into the desktop. Take the drive path when choosing among the three. I wonder what this means. Fire. I don't think it was Scissor Man. Silver Knight Crusaders, I don't believe I have. Step. Letter boxes on the shelf. Wonder if there's something inside. Yeah, please do, Poco. Small wooden boxes inside the letter box. Strange. Sounds like something is inside this box, but no way to open it. Scratch marks made on the floor by something heavy being dragged across it. A lot of the puzzles are uh, the same, no matter who your plan is. All right. I'm keeping my pre-Jennifer death save, just in case I want to come back and try it again. So yeah, this is just process of elimination. 
Two of these ladders are gonna kill us, we know already, but I didn't find the plate that describes which one is the dry path, so. Don't hear any water signs. This is new. Oh god! We got rat jammed so hard. We were turned into rat jam. I wonder if that happens if you try to choose a path before you get the clue on how to do it. Oh no, it's just it's happening again. I'm gonna need a couple deaths. Radis Norvigicus. Oh man. Okay, so Rat Jams regardless. Everybody get up, it's time to slam now. Got a re jam going now. Welcome to the rat jam. Hmm. They just hug us to death. <laughs> Cannot handle being pranked so hard. There's a note stuck inside. It's in Latin. Words to open door. To open door. Maybe these words can be used to exercise scissor man. Uh, I have a feeling that we're not going to get the ending that exercises scissor man. Oh shit.
There's gotta be a use for this fire. Too damn loud. Skylar White. I'll dress the anime version of Skylar White. Metal ball. No. Wooden box. Wooden box burns away. Something inside. Key was inside the small box. Cosmetics key. There was a cosmetic thing. I think it was. I think it's in the the room where we use the fireplace key. Hey, bye, bunny. About the bunny is a killer rabbit of Carabinog. Has anyone done like a feral rabbit girl anime version of the rabbit of Kernabog? Wait, yeah, what? And if I don't use the goddamn, I'm going to go with cosmetics key, block tower. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm glad I had FAQ in this one because I just want to get one in and we've already got the best item for Jennifer, so I'm, I'm kind of feeling accomplished with the game. <coughs> Pardon me. So great, so it wasn't, it wasn't COVID that hit you at least, I guess? Not as far as your arms, because you like tested and stuff. What? That's that's. I'm glad to hear it. Ah, uh, I knew there was something else described as a cosmetics box, man. Piece of paper is inside. Sketch of the mansion. Eyes is drawn under the fountain. I don't know do large drug gatherings, but it was so worth it. I mean, I, I, I can't blame someone for going to a social thing, given how long we've been under lockdown. I've been to some birthday things, um, myself. Wait, where, where was it? Oh, yeah. Twitch people are real people. 
I'm just an owl. Damn. That went... How did I deserve this? Maybe one day I can be a real person. I'm quite fine being an owl. Throw like opening, then we click this thing. <sighs> Such a shame. Opening this path and getting the spell. Oh wait, shit, I don't have the dagger. Ah, fuck it. We're not gonna get the dagger. In fact, I think we're precluded from getting the dagger after Jennifer dies. Because we didn't have the, the plate. Oh no! <laughs> that voice. I didn't think you'd get this far, Helen. Edward? That is Edward's voice? You uh, I like the first the series murderer? of B Stars. <laughs> that was quite interesting. Let's play, Helen. Place where many mangled male and female bodies are being found. The search for more corpses still continues. Oh no! It's gotta be what? D? Oh, that's B? God damn. I'm guessing only. Ending A is like the the one where your character survives. When carrying the box that can't be opened, you need to do something fairly drastic to get at the contents. Thanks. What's the unlockable thing in the pamphlet, I wonder? Beat the game with A ending to get everyone surviving. No. <laughs> Not gonna do that.
One second. I just want to see what the, the question mark is. Lockables. He's no one saying what it is. There's a whole bunch of people telling me how to unlock the question mark. What is the question mark in the pamphlet? Lock tar. Yes, one. Earning question marks. Oh, it's like, it's just, it's just a gallery. Just like art and music and stuff. Non-Dragon Ball Toriyama characters. Uh, yeah. Hold on. There's like I think he did called Sandland. I really like the design of the little demon in Sandland. Red from Dragon Quest. Thingy of the Cursed King. And. Frog from Chrono Trigger. Frog's good. Frog's my boy. Alright, but yeah. I mean, that's it for Loctar. We got four out of ten endings. Which is not too bad. So if y'all bear with me, we're gonna watch the, the remaining endings. The ones that we didn't get. But GG's Clocktar. We got Goodish endings for both characters, which is what I wanted. We got the best ending for Jennifer, which I didn't expect. I don't know if there's like anything extra you get um, for having everyone survive. But here we go. And we're gonna without knowing. We're gonna watch the. Uh, all endings from Buffmeister. This is like half an hour long this video, so we'll watch this and I'll I'll head off for the night. Thanks everybody for hanging. Thanks for chilling. Chatting. All that good stuff. We will skip through the endings that we've already seen. the whereabouts of the statue it was over there was no way for us to escape from scissor man oh jennifer 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 are you so this must already? be helen's e ending <gasps> jennifer which is really just a continuation Jennifer. of Jennifer's E ending. Jennifer, hold on. Make sense? <gasps> okay, so. Alan's D ending. You can get a pistolizer? God damn. 
it hit him? Jennifer! Thank heaven you're still alive. Helen? Where the hell did you get the pistol, I wonder? It's okay now. I've got Scissor Man cornered. Wait here. So if you should scissor man, you're fucked essentially. Everyone's saying, why don't you this shoot scissor man or kill scissor man? <gasps> Wait, what? It could be the professor the whole time? Why? How could you? Alan, I told you when you first joined my seminar. There's always a danger of turning toward evil. That is not a good excuse. <laughs> when you are researching criminal behavior. That's some bullshit. Damn, I was too good at professing. Uh... Always remember that danger. What are you saying? It, it, it's ironic, isn't it? That I was drawn in by his evil soul. This dude's doing a whole lot of just not accepting any responsibility for trying to kill someone. You really have the strength to keep it from happening to you? I'm pretty sure I'm not going to become a murderer, dude. Yeah. Can you really deny that you are involved in this case because you wanted to be? This guy is reading the lines as slowly as I read them. Like... <laughs> Maybe you too. Did the voice actors just have to read over this? I, I'm not like you. Uh, uh. I've already become a killer. No. The cycle of evil continues. All right, Teach. Guess I'll just He's shoot okay. everyone. The murderer was Professor Barton. Helen. Teach, I know you're in shock, but you are alive. I think Guts' voice actor is also the the. That's something to be happy about, ain't it? Also, the guy who does the opening, Lock Tower. Yes, you're probably right. The evil murderer lives. Oh, so it just ends there. Guess we just fuck off out of the mansion again. Okay, so we can get an ending by going down... Professor Barton. This must be whenever you don't oh, have the I found something very important. The spell, the door spell. Scissorman's secret was hidden here. Did you find it? Yes. And with this we can probably destroy Scissorman. It's back there. Take a look. Okay. Oh! <laughs> 
À. Dead. We just fade to black and God's his face. Fair enough. Yeah, I didn't expect the professor to also be a killer. There's like three killers in this game. Okay, this is the one that we saw. In the doorway, but we still die because we didn't still weren't able to get the scissor man off us. So he dragged us into the dimensional portal that we opened to banish him. <laughs> that voice. I didn't think you'd get this far, Helen. Edward? That is Edward's voice? You... You're the murderer? <laughs> Let's play, Helen. So this is all gonna be the same. Run across the bridge, put the statue in the thing, play the spell to open the doorway. Edwards is a little boy who was supposedly the other survivor of the murders from the first game, but in reality he is the reincarnation of Dan Barrows, which was like a giant demon baby from the first game. Shoot him! Wait, how come Gots never shot him in my playthrough? What the fuck, Gots? You're a bad cop. Dude, shoot him already. <laughs> there we go. to get upset is there teach I don't think we can make it I am certain Jennifer is still alive okay so Helen and Jennifer's someone's there ending sort of happen simultaneously Jennifer? Helen Jennifer you're alive Helen oh no Nolan and that ending he must be dead We did it! Alright, so, yep, in Jennifer's worst ending, Scissor Man kills her in her home because we can find the thing. In her second worst ending, she gets killed by Edward on the way out of the castle. Nolan is not also the murderer. Can't just keep saying everyone's the murderer. Jennifer. Huh? That voice. Who are you? Die! 
Oh, what? K was also a murderer? You can't just keep having murderers in the game. A survivor! There seems to be a survivor! <gasps> so, this is gonna be... Okay, was somehow helping Edward with the murders, but in the true ending, Edward chops her up. So you remember me now. I'm probably not going to die, Luko. I'm I'm pretty lazy. <laughs> Will I play the ring? Maybe someday, Sarge. That could be a funny one. So. We open up portal with the statue. I'm guessing in this enemy do not have the dagger. Jeez, that was one that was one hell of a scream. Rip in peace. So yeah, we got Jennifer's good ending. They get rescued after a bad kiss that we don't want. What comes after? Oh, it's just the the credits. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna make a sign alert. Look, I don't, I don't have any. I've debated having sign alerts before, um, but I think they, I don't know, they detract a little bit for me, to be honest with you. But yeah, that is gonna be it for Clock Tar, and that is gonna be it for tonight's stream. So thank you all kindly. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for chilling. You know what I do want to do is I do want to... I want to have like different alerts. I think there's a way to set up like random alerts. So maybe if I get that set up, I'll like take suggestions for them. Because I can already think of a few. It'd be quite fun. That is until 7am. Karma, I lied. I lied to keep you here. So, uh, thanks for being here. And thank you all, indeed, for being here. Um, I'll be back again tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. BST. Maybe a little later, I might have to, I might have to go out and run some errands tomorrow morning that might push the stream like an hour later or so. But in the morning, we are going to be playing some Eternal Darkness, Vanity's Requiem. So, uh, please look forward to it. Once again, it's one of my favorite games. Definitely one of my top three horror games. And uh, also look forward to Karma telling me off the entire stream. For now, we're going to go and read Runetooth because it's been a while since Runetooth has been on. He's playing Legend of... Oh, yep, no, he's on. He's playing Legend of Dragoon. So, uh, yeah, go say hi to Runetooth. We love us some Rune. And I will see y'all later. Overall, Clock Tower. Decent ass game. Decent sequel. Kind of loses some of the, the tension. Because of how easy Scissor Man is to avoid. And also, some might even less like exposition than the first game. So I kind of want to read the novelization of it. 
to see if it describes like motivations and whatnot better. But uh, yeah, I'll give my further thoughts on Clock Tower this Saturday during our having a hoot with Ray Boop. But until next time, take care everybody, be good, and bye bye. <laughs>